America is a nation that can be defined in a single word. I was going to put him, uh, put, put, excuse me. Nothing's wrong. Don't worry, America. It's just President Brandon's extensive vocabulary has him knowing big words that you don't. That's why he's the leader of the free world and you are not. Good evening. We look forward to you being in concentration camps after you help us implement our plan fully. And to help us get there, we're bringing you our top stories tonight, including Ghislaine Maxwell's sentencing and the elites she serviced remaining free. The January 6th committee's super successful witch hunt against Trump Joe Biden admits his guilt surrounding China. Disney is going even harder after your children and failing for some reason. And criminal Tucker Carlson is mingling with a criminal comedian. More on that in a minute. But first, after Americans spent an entire month being told to celebrate Marxism, they were allowed to spend one day celebrating freedom and independence on the 4th of July. Americans would not be able to celebrate Independence Day if it weren't for guns. Think about that, and then stop thinking about that and think about this instead. Moving along. Old rock stars like Crosby, Still and Nash, who are well past their prime and relevance, took a hard stance in the Joe Rogan controversy last January, telling Spotify that if they don't drop Rogan, they're leaving Spotify. So they left. And now they're back on Spotify. Weird to see people with no principles not standing by their principles. The score is officially Joe Rogan 1 and cancel culture zero. Ghislaine Maxwell has been sentenced to 20 years in prison for child sex trafficking. And because the governments and courts and the fine people that control them have been so effective in preventing her from naming their names, she apparently trafficked children to no one. Ha <laughs> ha. No more questions in this case, please. As Tim Kennedy points out, this is the first time in history that two people have been charged with sex trafficking without those they serviced being charged. Well, Tim, thank you for acknowledging our accomplishments as we continue to build back better. Now, please be a responsible parent and go take your young children to a drag show. Now, we in the media want to take a moment and rightfully do our jobs by crucifying other people in the media who dangerously report on truth rather than reporting on the prescribed narrative that we are so proud to be paid to be loyal to. Two people on that list who both should be in prison for crimes against the narrative got together for an interview, Tucker Carlson and disgraced ginger comedian J.P. Sears. Take a look at some of what these dangerous patriots had to say. You have a very keen eye for for irony, hypocrisy, and a sharply attuned ear to language. Oh. I thought your video on My Body, My Choice was, and we played a short excerpt from it, was absolutely brilliant where, and I'll, I'll, I'll let you put it in your words, but why, why is it my body, my choice when it comes to abortion, but not my body, my choice when it comes to the vaccine? Be, be, I don't think my body, my choice as it's played out in uh, woke culture, I don't think it's based on a principle. Right. If it was based on principle, then my body, my choice would mean something when it comes to all topics. Right. Abortion, vaccines, anything. But because it's not based on principle, it's based on propaganda, It the reality of it shifts. Of course, your body, your choice. Go have an abortion and we're going to celebrate you for making such an empowered choice. Oh, you don't want a vaccine? Well, you... That is the unvirtuous thing to do. You can't We're have gonna, a job. <laughs> you can't have a job. Get out of society. I hate those cis white f***ing men. Now, we cannot stress to you how important it is to avoid watching the full interview on Tucker Carlson's Today Show. None of it is approved thought from the Ministry of Truth. And we have early reports that 100% of all viewers have contracted monkeypox from it. We've got to all do our part to help slow the spread. Don't watch it. Recently, Cassidy Hutchinson was the star witness in the January 6th committee's super legitimate witch hunt against President Trump. While testifying, Cassidy Hutchin whatever delivered bombshell testimony of other people's firsthand accounts of President Trump doing nothing wrong. 
which proves President Trump is guilty of multiple crimes surrounding the events of January 6th. And now, after her riveting testimony, a text from Cassidy has been unearthed, which shows her true feelings about the January 6th committee's subpoena of her to testify. In the text, she referred to the January 6th committee as BS. When asked about Cassidy's text calling the January 6th committee BS, the January 6th committee responded by saying, this text makes her an even more credible witness for us. And it's being reported by conspiracy outlets everywhere that help expose reality that President Joe Biden knew about his crack addict felony committing son's business dealings with China in spite of Joe's denial of involvement. Hunter's pesky laptop, which still does not exist according to us, had the backup of a voicemail left on it by head of the American Communist Party, Joe Biden. Have a listen. I just want to talk to you. I thought the article, at least the thing on online, is going to be printed to one time. It was good. I think it's clear. We have reports that a recent follow-up voicemail from Joe to Hunter had the president, after AIDS changed his depends, reprimanding his son, saying, why can't you delete evidence like an adult? When asked about it, Joe Biden said he has no recollection of that voicemail or of anything. And in other news, Disney is at your children again, this time with beloved character Buzz Lightyear in his own movie. The storyline of this movie is a rich heroic tale of indoctrinating your children into LGBTQ propaganda. The Pixar propaganda piece cost $200 million to make and took the world by an irrelevant storm with an opening weekend of just $51 million. When speaking of the immense profitability of their propaganda, a naked Disney representative standing in front of children said, this has been our most profitable project this year. When asked in hindsight if there was anything that could have been done to make this film that parents didn't want to take their children to see even more profitable, the Disney representative said, yes, we should have had Ghislaine Maxwell voice one of the characters. The magic of Disney, ladies and gentlemen. This Justin, if you're on TikTok, the Chinese Communist Party has all your data and Joe and Hunter Biden want each other to know it's fine, nobody will ever find out about our involvement. We're clear. And our viewer comment of the week comes in from Kales H, who commented on our reenactment video of January 6th committee's bombshell testimony against Trump of Ketchity Hutchinson, whatever. Kales H says, coming from someone who was in DC at the march, when I came home and heard all the lies, I couldn't help but chuckle to myself. I watched officers let people into the Capitol, and the arguments from people who weren't there were ridiculous. Well, Kales H, we'll have to wait for Cassidy Hutchinson, who wasn't there, to tell us what your experience was before we can know what your experience was. We'll be standing by. That's it for tonight's news. We hope you're enjoying The Clown Show because it is quite an art form. Good night.